When you need mealtime inspiration, it's worth shopping Kroger, where you'll find over 30,000 mouth-watering choices that excite your inner foodie. And no matter what tasty choice you make, you'll enjoy our everyday low prices, plus extra ways to save, like digital coupons worth over $600 each week. You can also save up to $1 off per gallon at the pump with fuel points. More savings and more inspiring flavors make shopping Kroger worth it every time. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Fuel restrictions apply. Brought to you by the Mutual Audio Network. Don't leave home without it. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance recommended. Hey everybody, it's Madison. Did you realize a lot of old-timey radio show episodes have been lost to time and the audio recordings no longer exist? Well, a collector and fan of The Shadow brought us the script for one of these lost episodes, so we decided to record it and bring it back to audio life. This is the original script as written. I'm taking the day off. And we recorded it together live over the magic of the internet. So please sit back and enjoy the once lost, now revived episode of The Shadow. What evil lurks in the hearts of men? The shadow knows. <laughs> Once again, your neighborhood blue coal dealer brings you the thrilling adventures of the shadow, the hard and relentless fight of one man against the forces of evil. These dramatizations are designed to demonstrate forcibly to old and young alike that crime does not pay. The shadow mysterious character who aids the forces of law and order is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town. Several years ago in the Orient, Cranston learned a strange and mysterious secret, the power to cloud men's minds so they cannot see him. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the voice of this invisible shadow belongs. Today's drama, The Secret of the Shadow. It begins at night in the office of Big Jim Kane. At the moment, Big Jim is seated at his desk. With him is Red Donovan, his right-hand man. They're waiting for someone. Why doesn't he come? What's keeping him? Take it easy, Red. He'll be here. Oh, I ain't so sure. This jewelry store was plenty tough to crack. If the cops... Don't worry about the police. I've taken care of every detail. Yeah, but there's 200 grand in diamonds riding on this job, boss. Suppose Morelli decides to try a getaway with the hall. Morelli won't go anywhere but right here, Red. He knows better than to cross Big Jim Kane. What did I tell you? He's coming up the corridor now. Yeah, it must be him. But in case it ain't, I'm gonna keep this gun handy. You worry too much, Red. Oh, Chief. Hello, Morelli. You're a little late. Yeah, I know. I doubled my tracks on the way here in case anybody tried to follow me. Everything go off all right? Perfect. Not a hitch. (gasps) Someone just opened the door, boss. What's the matter with you two? There's no one there. You can see that for yourself. A draft of wind down the corridor up at that door. Shut it, Red, and we'll get back to business. Okay. All right, Morelli. Let's see the diamonds. Here they are. In this little leather bag. Two hundred grand in sparklers. Right on your desktop, chief. Oh, look at those stones, Red. Look at them. Beautiful little babies, ain't they, boss? Oh, what a haul. Nice work, Morelli. We'll dispose of these stones through a fence and give you your 20% in cash. Wait a minute, Jim. You mean 50%. Why, no, Morelli. I don't mean that at all. You told me when I came in on this deal that I'd get half the dough. Half? You must have heard me wrong, Morelli. I get half. You get 20% and Red 30. Oh, no, you don't, Kane. I did all the dirty work, took all the chances. I'm entitled to 50%, and I'm going to get what's coming to me. Very well, Morelli, if you insist. Oh, Oh, nice shot, boss. You got what was coming to him, all right. You drilled him right between the eyes. Poor Morelli, always so greedy. Well, now that a friend here has left us, Red, I'm afraid we'll have to split the proceeds just between the two of us. Yeah. Reads a crowd. Hey, Chief, the diamonds. Why, they're gone. 
But how? Where? Uh, perhaps they rolled off onto the floor, underneath the desk. Yeah. Maybe. I'll get down and look. <laughs> You're wasting your time, Red. I have those diamonds. What was that? The voice of the shadow. The shadow? Yes, Kane. What's he doing here? What do you want, Shadow? I already have what I came for. A fortune in cut diamonds. But it is not enough, Kane. What do you mean? I mean that you have gone beyond mere robbery, my friend. You have murdered a man in cold blood. And for this, the law will demand your life as forfeit. I'll never go to the chair, Shadow. You cannot escape your crime, Kane. Neither you nor your man Red Donovan can escape the just vengeance of society. He's got us, Chief. We'll both fry. Do you understand? We're gonna fry in the chair! Shut up, Red. You're through, Kane. I'll give you 24 hours to give yourself up to the police. And if I don't? Then you'll have to deal with the Shadow. That's where you're wrong, Shadow. It's the other way around. You'll have to deal with me. I'll show you who holds the trump card. 24 hours, Kane. No more. No less. And remember, the shadow will be watching you. Hello? Oh, Lamont. I've been so worried about you since you followed that thief. What happened? I got the diamonds he stole, Margo. And he led me to the most dangerous criminal alive today. Big Jim Kane. Lamont! He's the one who was acquitted in that murder trial last month. Yes, that's the one. But I don't think he'll trick any more juries after today. Yes? I saw him kill the crook who stole those diamonds, but I may have a little trouble proving it. But Lamont, you say you saw him. Only as the shadow, Margot. I can't prove I was there, and Kane is too smart to leave tracks. Have you any ideas, Lamont? A few, but I have a feeling this case has just begun. As a matter of fact, Big Jim Kane just phoned me here at my apartment a half hour after I visited him as the shadow. What? It's the truth, Margot. How do you like that for coincidence? I'm not sure that I do. What did he want, Lamont? I haven't the faintest idea. He's coming over here to see me. Says it's very important. Lamont, I I'm worried. I'm curious. In fact, I'm looking forward to meeting him. Lamont, please be careful. Big Jim Kane isn't just clever, he's dangerous. Mr. Cranston? Yes? My name's Kane. Big Jim Kane. Oh, of course. Come in, won't you? Here, have a chair. Thanks. How about a drink? Eh, don't mind if I do. Here you are. Thanks. Well, here's to our partnership, Mr. Cranston. Our what? Our partnership. Shall I come straight to the point, Mr. Cranston? By all means, do. Fact is, I came here to talk business with the Shadow. The Shadow? Yeah. In other words, you, Mr. Cranston. I'm afraid you've got the wrong address, Mr. Kane. No, my friend, I've got the right address. Indeed? Yes, indeed. It's no use trying to bluff me, Cranston. I know your secret. Mr. Kane, forgive me if I'm taken aback by all this, but frankly, I'm a little bewildered. You phone me late at night, come to my apartment, and then tell me that I'm the Shadow. To tell the truth, I'm honored, but curious, too. Naturally, you must have some kind of proof. Naturally, Mr. Cranston. I have very good proof. Here, take a look at this. Why, it's a photograph of me. Yes and no, friend. It's a photograph of the Shadow, as he entered the door of my office less than an hour ago. Very interesting, Mr. Kane. Do you mind telling me how you got this amazing picture? Not at all. Photography, that is trick photography, is a hobby of mine. You see... I have a hidden camera installed in the front of my desk. When my office door opens, the camera shutter automatically clicks, taking the picture of the person framed in the doorway. Very clever, Mr. Kane. Yeah, isn't it? I have photographs of all my visitors. Expected and unexpected. Sometimes they come in very handy. I see what you mean. I thought you would. As a shadow, you could fool the human eye. But you couldn't fool the cold mechanical eye of the camera. Well... Now that you've discovered my secret, Kane, what do you want? I want those diamonds you took last night. Sorry, it's too late. I've already turned them over to Commissioner Weston. I see. Well, I was afraid of that. However, there's something else. Yes? You're gonna forget about the murder of Tony Morelli. And if I don't? Then I'll simply reveal your identity to the underworld. 
Once it knows who the shadow is, your life won't be worth a plug nickel. Every crook in town would beg to get a crack at you. Hmm. A little polite blackmail, eh? Yeah. You'll just have to jump through my hoop and like it, Granston. But don't worry. I can use a man with your remarkable powers. Your secret will be safe with me just as long as we play ball my way. Well, that's the story, Margo. Kane knows who I am, and there doesn't seem to be much I can do about it. Lamont, that's awful. Big Jim Kane is capable of anything. I know he is, and he's got me, Margo. Everywhere I turn, he's got me. Lamont, you've got to do something. What can I do, Margo? I'm trapped. Kane holds the Ace of Trumps. I'll just have to play along with him until a break comes. Do you understand what that means, Red? I know who the Shadow is. Yeah, boss, but who is it? You're too inquisitive, Red. If I told you, then two of us would know. This is my secret, and mine alone. I'm the only man in the world who can tell the Shadow what to do. What a setup. I've got the Shadow working for me now. I'll actually be the Shadow by proxy. With that disappearing act, the Shadow can get in and out of banks like nobody's business. Precisely, Red. Oh, there are all kinds of fascinated possibilities. Now, Red, you better run along. I got some work to do. Confidential work. Okay, boss. Hello? Hello, Cranston. Yes? This is Big Jim Kane. I got a job for you to do tonight. I see. This is the beginning, eh? Yeah, Cranston. Just the beginning. Be in my office at ten tonight, and come as the Shadow. Well, I don't like it, boss. You better watch your step. The Shadow is dynamite. If you know how to handle dynamite, Red, it's harmless. You think he'll really show up? I know he will. Listen, Red, here he comes now. Yeah. I won't need you any longer. Go out the back way. But, boss... Go on, get out. Okay, okay. I'm going. Is that you, Shadow? Yes, Kane. This is the Shadow. You prompt, my invisible friend. It's just ten o'clock. What do you want me to do, Kane? At four o'clock tomorrow afternoon, a half million dollars will be lying in the main vault of the Coastal National Bank. At that time, the chief pay teller would go into the vault to lock up the day's deposits. Well? I want you to follow him in, as the shadow, and watch him as he turns the dial. Then you're to come back and give me the combination. I'll do the rest. I won't do it, Kane. I think you will, Shadow. No, Kane. For years, I've fought crime. I won't be a partner to it now. You can do what you like. Listen, Shadow, this hall is the one I've dreamed of, and I don't intend to lose it, even if I have to make a deal with you. Go on. First, I'll give you the negative of that picture I took. Second, I'll split the loot with you. That's a quarter of a million dollars apiece, enough to put us both on easy street. Well, what do you say, Shadow? That's a lot of money. And it's yours, with no questions asked. All right, Kane, it's a deal. Well, Shadow, did you get the combination? Yes, Kane. But first, give me the negative. All right, here it is. Now, Shadow, the combination to the main vault of the Coastal National Bank. Here it is, written on the slip of paper. Thanks, Shadow. We'll pull the job tonight. And I warn you, this combination had better be correct. The combination is correct, Kane. I hope so, because if it isn't, if you have double-crossed me, you'll pay with the life of Margot Lane. Margot Lane? What has she got to do with this? Everything, my friend. You didn't think I'd trust you until the job was over, did you? She's right here. Margot Lane! Shadow! Just a little guarantee that you're on the level, my transparent friend. We picked up your girlfriend an hour ago. Shadow, listen to me. You've always fought this kind of cheap tin horn crook, and no matter what the cost, you've got to keep on fighting him and his kind. Kane, any business we had was between ourselves and was of no concern of Miss Lane's. I always work with an ace in the hole. You ought to know that by now. Shadow, Shadow, are you going through this without a fight? There's nothing I can do. I'm afraid this is one time when the Shadow is licked. <laughs> Keep your flesh on this dial, Marty. How's it going, Joe? I'll know in a second. Let me see that slip of paper again. Here, here. Okay. That combination's the McCoy. The vault door's opening. Leave the bag here, and let's have a look inside. Joe, come here. Come here, look, look. Yeah, that's the green stuff, all right. 
Half a million bucks, all tied up in packages. Come on, we better start loading this dough. Okay, bring the bag into the vault here. <laughs> what was that? Who laughed? The shadow, Joe Felucci. The, the shadow? Yeah, my friend. What are you doing here? Can't you guess, Marty? I can. You're after this dough, Shadow. Yes, Felucci. A half million dollars in new banknotes is a large sum of money. It'd be a pity to divide it so many ways. Perhaps it would be better if I took care of it myself. Joe, you recognize that voice? The boss? Yeah, Jim Kane. The Shadow is Big Jim Kane. He sent us to do this job at the bank, and now he's double-crossing us. Come on, Joe, let's make a run for it. Yeah. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Joe, he, he shut the vault door on us. Yeah, we're trapped. X-Tray, X-Tray, Shadow Traps Bank Burglars. Police find crooks half dead in Coastal Vault. Half million dollars missing. X-Tray, read all about it. Hey, Fred, it's okay to talk now. The guard's just gone up the cell block. What's up, pal? I got news. They found out who the shadow is. Yeah? Who? Big Jim Kane. What? Yeah. Joe Felucci recognized the shadow's voice, spilled what he knew to his mouthpiece. Big Jim Kane? I wish I was on the outside. That shadow put me here in the stir for a ten-year stretch. I'm telling you, Big Jim Kane is the shadow. I got it straight from Johnny Riley's pal. It's all over town. The shadow is Big Jim Kane. Jim Kane's been pulling the wool over our eyes for years. Yeah, he's a stool. Been working with the cops all the time. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get that rat. Big Jim Kane. Let's get the shadow. I'm afraid your friend Mr. Cranston has double-crossed me, Miss Lane. Naturally. What did you expect? You didn't think he'd go through with this, did you? Of course you understand what this means, Miss Lane. A promise is a promise. Your life is forfeit. You'll never get away with this, Mr. Kane. The Shadow will hunt you down, no matter where you go. You don't see me worrying, do you, Miss Lane? I could take care of the Shadow. You're much too sure of yourself, Mr. Kane. Perhaps. But frankly, Miss Lane, you must find the Shadow rather disappointing. Apparently, he thinks more of that money than he does of your life. Perhaps he has a trick up his sleeve that you don't know about. Your faith in him is touching, Miss Lane. Very touching. But I'm afraid it's too late. Beat it, boss! Quick! What are you talking about, Red? What do you mean? The whole underworld is headed for your apartment. Right now! Every crook in town is out to kill you! What are you babbling about, Red? Joe Felucci has named you as the Shadow! What? Perhaps this was the trick I was talking about, Mr. Kane. I'll take it, boss. No, I'll answer it. Hello? Is this Big Jim Kane? Yeah. No use trying to make a getaway, Kane. Your number is up. You'll be a dead man. Any minute now. Hello? Hello? Oh, look out, boss. Get away from the window. They got Tommy guns. I don't think your friends like you, Mr. Kane. You all right, boss? Yeah. Uh, that trick almost worked. Uh, they knew uh, that when I answered the phone, I'd be standing in front of the window, right in the line of fire. They came pretty close. But what are we going to do, Chief? The apartment is surrounded by now. Uh, we'll go down the service stairway into the garage and get the car. We'll be outside the building all the way down, and uh, then we'll head for the airport. That custom-built job of yours is our only chance. It's fast and bulletproof. We'll ride right through those rats outside. Now, as for you, lady... Put down that gun. Why, boss? Uh, she'll slow us up. So I'll let her have it. Don't be a fool. I'm sure the shadow is around here somewhere. And I'm more worried about him than I am about those thugs outside. We'll take Miss Lane along. As long as we hold her, she'll be good insurance against the shadow doing anything rash. But what about afterward? When we're on our way? Then we'll dispose of Miss Lane. And drop her over the bridge at the river. No, you wouldn't dare. Oh, yes, I would, Miss Lane. All right, Red, bring her along. Okay, boss. Come on, sister. Take your hands off me. I won't go. Do you hear? I won't go. Yes, you will. Oh. All right, let's go. I'll hold Miss Lane here in the back seat. Take your hands off me. My arm. You're twisting it. If I were you, I'd behave myself, Miss Lane. As for the pain, don't mind it. In a little while, you'll feel no pain at all. Okay, boss. Keep your fingers crossed. Here we go. We made 
defeated, boss. He never even touched us. Those slugs bounced right off these windows. Yeah, I know, I know. I head out on the highway and step on it. Say, boss, these gunmen are gonna follow us. I can see him through the mirror. They're piling into cars. I don't think we have to worry, Red. This car can outrun anything on wheels. Let it out. Here we are, boss. Bridge over the river. All right, Red. We'll have to hurry. Let me go. Let me go. It's no use struggling, Miss Lane. Okay, Chief. I'll handle this, Dame. Come on, you. You're going for a little swim. No! No! Right over here by the railing, sister. A nice little swan dive. That'll be all for you. Come on. Come on. Step on it, Red. I'll be through in a second, boss. You're through now, Donovan. The shadow! Ah! The shadow! Thank heaven you've come! <laughs> well, Kane, your lieutenant is taking the swim he promised Miss Lane. Now, I'll deal with you. How'd you get here, Shadow? In your car. In my car? Yes, I followed Donovan into your room and sat beside him in the front seat while he drove. I see. So, this is the showdown, eh, Shadow? Yes, Kane. This is the showdown. The end of the road for you. That's what you think! He's got a gun! Yeah, and it's pointed at your heart, Miss Lane. The minute the shadow tries anything, I'll pull the trigger. Always an ace in the hole, eh, Kane? Always. And now, if you'll pardon me, I'll leave you. I can still make a plane at the airport. Remember, I've got Miss Lane covered. One false move from you, Shadow, and she dies. What, what's the matter with this car? Why, why does it start? <laughs> Having a little trouble, Kane? If you are, it's only the beginning. Listen, here come your friends. Miss Lane! What is it, Shadow? Quick, drop to the ground! Ah! It was nice of this milkman to give us a ride, wasn't it, Lamont? Yes. We'll be back to town one of these days as hitchhikers. I'm afraid we're not very lucky, Margo. I'm grateful for small favors, especially at this scandalous hour of the night. By the way, Lamont... Yes, Margo? Did I remember to thank you for getting me to duck just as Jim Kane's hoodlum friends dropped that bomb in his car? Think nothing of it. I would have done that much for anyone. Well, aren't we gallant? Tell me, Lamont, why couldn't Kane start his car? It is very hard, my dear lady, to start a car when the ignition wires under the dashboard are cut. So the Shadow's fine, invisible hand took care of that, too. Yes. But why did the men in the vault think that Jim Kane was the Shadow? It wasn't too difficult to give a pretty fair imitation of Kane. Who knows? I may have given up a successful career as an actor. <laughs> Could be. You know, Lamont, this has really been an event. For a few hours, someone else actually knew that you were the Shadow. That's right. But now, we're back to where we started from. Yes, and you can't imagine how glad I am. I'd had an exclusive on this for so long that, well, I was actually beginning to be jealous of Big Jim Kane. <laughs> The Shadow Program is based on a story copyrighted by Street and Smith Publications. The characters, names, places, and plot are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Again, next week the Shadow will demonstrate that The weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The Shadow knows. <laughs> next week, same time, same station. Your friendly blue coal dealer brings you another strange and thrilling adventure in the Shadow's daring battle against the forces of evil. Thank you all so much for listening to this lost episode of The Shadow. And a super big thank you to Albert Emery for sending us the script. We had a blast. You can hear our Madison on the Air episode of The Shadow, The Cat that killed on our website madisonontheair.com or pretty much any place podcasts can be found. Bye! The role of Lamont Cranston The Shadow was played by Aaron Stahl. Jeremy Sage appeared as Big Jim Kane. Other actors in the cast were Chrissy Tell and Sage as Margot Lane. Steve Jun as Red Donovan. 
and Tom O'Connor as Morelli, Marty, and the Heavy Thug. I've been your announcer, David Pinion, also appearing as Joe and the Weasel Thug. Good night. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There! That's how long 20 seconds are. The Center for Disease Control recommends you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds as often as possible. We don't think about it a lot, but more germs are transmitted by the hands than by any other source. So keep them clean. Soap and water for 20 seconds and you'll help prevent the spread of COVID-19. And maybe some other nasty stuff as well. This was a public service announcement from the Mutual Audio Network.